No questions? <laughs> I don't know if you would, just an overall assessment of how you guys look today, and apparently three picks at least. Well, and, you know, th those are plays, you know, and, and, and we'll build, you know, build on those and make some really good plays. But I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not satisfied nearly with the way we tackled today. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, we'll get it fixed. You know, uh, we got good kids out there that are working hard. Uh, but uh, we tackled much better in the first scrimmage, much better. And, uh, you know, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't quite understand. We, you know, we spent a lot of time on it. And it's, you know, that's my responsibility to make sure that we tackle well. And uh, I will assure you we will. But we did not today. And I'm glad we didn't have a real game today because we didn't tackle well enough to win. Hey, Chief, I know uh, Chad and the, the players have, have talked about Joe Fouché really having a good camp. Has he been doing mostly safety or nickel? Or how, how have you been mostly, dividing up his Mostly reps? safety. And, uh, and, and, and again, you know, uh, we've worked him some at nickel. It's hard with a freshman to – you know, to keep moving them, uh, you know, from position to position. In a, in a perfect world, what we'd like to do is, is, is have a safety or a corner that's a veteran player that could go in there and play nickel force and, and just let our freshmen play one position. But, uh, you know, we don't have that, that uh, uh, depth yet to be able to do that. But in a perfect world, that's what we want to do. So, you know, Joe's been working uh, a lot more at safety than he has nickel. Yeah, Dorian Gerald. Coach was saying that he needs to get in a little bit better shape, but from what you've seen of him in the past, do you think he's going to be, contribute this year? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, let's just tell him like he's got to. You know, uh, we don't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice, and he will. Uh, he's as talented as we thought he was. Uh, you know, uh, you know, getting here a little bit late, and right now the things that he's hearing has been really the first time, and it's like learning a different language. You know, he knows how to play football. And some of the techniques that we're teaching him are techniques that he's played before, but it's been explained in a different language. So, you know, he's getting there. He's getting there, and you can see it, you know, uh, uh, really the, you know, starting to, he's starting to relate to it in his mind, and he's starting to play faster. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said, there's no doubt he will play for us, and uh, you know, there's no doubt that we got to have four or five ends, and he's going to be a big part of that. What did you see from that third linebacker spot today, and what do you kind of see the rotation being besides Scooter and Dre? Well, I see we didn't we didn't we didn't rotate Dre any at all today. And we got Scooter out pretty early. And you know, my focus is on, you know, the depth. And uh, you know, uh I'm I'm excited about where Bumper Pool is right now. Uh you know, we uh, D Walker, we got a chance to get him back. This is his first live work in about six days. You know, get him back and uh, he got a he got a good bit of work there. So uh, you know, we took an opportunity you know, to, you know, make sure we got one or two guys that we don't want to get banged up anymore and work on that depth, and that's what we did today. So I feel better about, you know, where we are right now than I did, you know, nine days ago, you know, in terms of the depth because you got to have it. I think we probably ended up with 125 snaps in the, in the total scrimmage, and, uh, you, know, uh, I, you know, I'd say there's a, a bunch of those guys that got 35 or 40 snaps, and that's good for them. Now, they got a chance to see themselves on film, in a live situation, and they're going to learn. You know, if, if all you do is just practice and practice, and you don't play the game and get in the game situations, you, you, you don't get as better as fast. And, and they're going to see that. And, and again, I got to help them, and that's what I'm here to do. How, how's, how's Devon McClure progressing there at Nickel, and how have you felt about his camp? Good. You know, he's had a really, really good camp. And, 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 and this is the thing that you got to re, uh, realize about McClure. Uh, again, he hadn't played football in a long time. And uh, he is a mature man. He's not, a, he's not an 18, 19-year-old coming in here. He's a mature man. So he's got that, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the physical qualities are there. And now mentally, he's got to put it all together. He's got to learn how to play football again. And he's got to learn to play the position. And we're working him more at nickel than we are anywhere else. But uh, I like what we've seen so far. Really do. Since Ramsey's been out for a while, has anybody taken advantage of the extra reps at, at Pennsylvania? You know, I'm sure. I'm sure they have, and, and again, I'm not trying to not ask, ask, you know, answer your question. I'm sure they have, you know, uh, and when a scrimmage goes on like we had today, and first time I've been in the box in, in, in a year and a half uh, or a little longer than that, you know, I got certain things that I'm training myself to do in the box. So, 
you know, I can't tell you, you know, really who played well and who didn't play well because there are certain things that I need to be able to see uh, that's going to be important to us as we progress in calling a game. So, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they've taken advantage. I mean, uh, you know, Coach Caldwell is an excellent football coach, and and again, when you get a chance to get reps in a in a in a situation like this in a full full speed scrimmage, then you got no chance but to get better. And 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 we're going to keep pushing them. Uh, you know, we like I said, I, honestly, I'm glad the day wasn't our first day. Uh, uh, or first game to play, you know, because we were not where I expected us to be. But I will guarantee you, we're going to be better tomorrow, and we ain't going to practice tomorrow, but we're going to be better. You mentioned Joe and, and Bumper Pool a couple times. Are there any other freshmen who pushed themselves into significant snaps with this camp so far? At 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 any position, uh, you know, not anybody I'm ready to talk about right now. You know. Uh, Miles is having uh, a good fall camp, and I, I will mention him, you know, on the back end. Uh, and uh, normally I don't even do that, but uh, he's having, you know, he's having a good fall camp, and and get himself in a in a position to where uh, Miles Mason, where, where where he'll be able to help us as well. Uh, Coach Morris mentioned that this was more of a uh, passing scrimmage last time, more of a running. Did that have something to do with the? The tackling, like, was the open field tackling the issue, or how was it today? Well, all, all tackling was. You know, it's uh, you know, like I said, we didn't, we were not as sharp as we need to be, and uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, that's got to improve. You know, because if you can't block, you can't tackle. It's hard to, it's hard to play winning football, and and certainly we don't do a lot of blocking on defense, so we've got to be a great tackling defense. There's no question about that. Two more. Yeah. Chad mentioned pass protection issues early on, so. Something was happening defensively. Can you can you speak about that? Maybe getting to the quarterback a little bit. And what were the plays that Santos and uh, Fouché picked off and McClure? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't recall the plays exactly. So, I, I, you know, nothing. But uh, you know, we are we are a pressure defense. And to be quite honest with you, uh, we didn't pressure as much today as we normally do. You know, uh, we wanted to we wanted to see you know if we could disrupt the quarterback, make him get off his spot with a four man rush. And uh, you know we got some we got some guys up front, and uh, uh, John Scott and Steve Caldwell have done a great job, you know, uh, in terms of uh, you know working with those guys. And 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 I think what we're doing from just an alignment standpoint, uh, and and you know what we want to be able to do is rush the passer with speed. And uh, we've got some speed, we've got some speed, and we got some speed inside that, you know, will help create some good matchups on those guards. And, uh, you know, that's what we're going to rely on. And, uh, you know, certainly that's been uh, what we've been, you know, really good at in the past, and, and we're going to continue to do that. Any more questions for Coach Chavis? Thank you. Appreciate it.